guys it's Saturday and today I went to Salvation Army and Once Upon a Child I also drove Corey in there with me so that's no small feat um, but uh, I found some really good stuff that I thought I would share so Once Upon a Child is where I will begin so the first things um, that I got were pants for Gracie um, I feel like that's kind of what she runs out of and needs I tend to like really neutral um, and kind of simple outfits, usually just like pants and a t-shirt or leggings and um, something like that. So that's the majority of what I got. I got some in 18 months and some in 12 months. She's still predominantly in 12 month clothing. Um, if I try to do 18 months, it's usually really, really long in the sleeves or just in her torso. But sometimes I will if I'm gonna have her in leggings and I'll just roll the sleeves. But to start off, pants. So these pants, oh and all the pants that I'm going to show you were $1.50. So these little pants, she actually, fun fact, has had these in three different sizes and I think they maybe go one more size and then that's all I'll get. These are 12 months. These are the Just For You brand from um, Carter's. It's at Walmart. I love this little ruffle detailing. She wore these as like almost her first pair of pants when she finally fit into newborn clothes and I love them. Um, they are bright, <laughs> but I think they're fun as a pop of color with like a white or a black shirt. I actually found a shirt that I'll show you that I thought would be really cute with them though. Um, I also found these, also Carter's um, pants that just has a cute little writing and the ruffle on the butt. These are also just Carter's plain leggings, um, ruffle on the butt, love that. Also found a shirt that I thought would be cute with those. Um, black leggings these are actually 18 months she does not have very much 18 month clothing and black leggings are a staple for her and then these are another pop of color leggings I love the cable knit detailing and these are actually the first impressions brand which I know that they used to sell at Macy's when we had a Macy's here um, and I actually bought her a pair of them there and I think they're really cute and add some texture to an outfit um, the two shirts that I got were this one. I actually picked this up in the little boy section and this is 18 months. So this is bigger. Um, I think she could get away with wearing it now, but I think it's more for summer. Um, and it just says, treat yourself. <laughs> and I thought it was adorable for summer and for her. I do look at the boy section always when I go there because I tend to like kind of neutrally stuff. So if I can find something there, um, I figure why not grab it. <sighs> the other t-shirt that I picked up was this H&M shirt and I thought that this would be adorable with these pants oh, with the little pops of pink in it. Um, I would put her in this now and then I think she would also be able to wear this in the summer and I think it's really cute. I love H&M baby stuff. I've actually been thinking about making an order so if I do that I will share that. Um, they just have really good neutral super cute clothes uh, then I got her two sweatshirts I got this sweatshirt and it's up a size I did get this also in the boys section it has little ears but it's just really simple and I think it's really nice it could be worn even as like just like an over jacket in the spring um, and then I picked up this in the boys section as well and it just says little honey bear and I think it's so cute and I thought that this would be cute with the gray leggings that I had picked up for her as a little outfit. The final two things that I actually got from Once Upon a Child, this is not for Gracie. I, she could wear it if she wanted to and I wouldn't have a problem with it. I don't think it looks too boyish. Um, but my goodness, is that not adorable with the little corduroy detailing? I'm actually going to give this to... My girlfriend who has a little boy right now it will definitely be big on him but he could grow into it and use it as a jacket in the spring and I think it's so cute um, and this was 350 uh, and all the sweatshirts were 250 shirts were 250 and leggings a dollar fifty so so inexpensive inexpensive yeah that's right <laughs> and then the final thing that I picked up was something that we actually were wanting but did not want to spend a lot of money on and that was some snow pants for her. They only had them um, in like three to six months and then uh, 18 months. 
So I had to go ahead and get 18 months, but I figured if we are blessed with another child, it's neutral and they could probably wear them too. Um, so yeah, I picked these up for her. We were really wanting them for the snow day on Monday, but we couldn't find them anywhere. So that's saved. That is all from Once Upon a Child. And then I picked up a couple things from Salvation Army. Um, everything that I got from Salvation Army was actually new from Target, which for me, like, isn't exactly thrifting because it's new. And Target and Salvation Army have a um, agreement and they send all their stuff there. But it is a great way to get, like, Target stuff for really inexpensive. And so I usually try to go at least every other week, if not every week, and just pop in and see if there's anything that fits our needs. I try to go with something in my mind that we need, um, but this time I was just kind of going to look and I did find a couple things. So the first thing and the thing I'm most excited about are these toothbrushes. Corey and I actually purchased these not knowing that the lower quality grade ones, um, like the step below this that were on sale for $20 on Black Friday, are not replaceable like with their heads. So we're about at the end of the life of our toothbrushes and we needed new heads and I come to find out I can't replace them. So we found these which are the uh, higher level and you can replace the heads and these are also all metal. Um, they were originally $50 and we got them for 20 so that was a huge win. So we picked up two of those. They also had some makeup and skincare and hair care stuff out right now so if you're in need of that. They had tons of NYX and uh, Physician's formula and some really great things. They didn't have anything that was like my shade or something that I tend to use So I didn't pick anything up for myself. I did pick up this tea tree lemon sage scalp treatment um, This is just to refresh and moisturize. I use this brand of curl enhancer and conditioner uh, Detangler spray for Gracie. And she's been having really dry scalp this winter So I thought that this would be a good treatment to try for her and it was $1.95 so really inexpensive <clears throat> I also picked up this tinted lip oil by elf <clears throat> and I think I paid like 50 cents for this uh, and I actually got this for my mom I'm not really into lip color but she loves like these darker purples and her she loves like uh, shiny like lip gloss stuff so I figured this lip oil would be great for her um, <clears throat> so I picked this up for her for her birthday and the other thing that I picked up, I actually got for her for her birthday as well. And that was this Polaroid um, digital photo frame. This was on sale there for $9.95, so $10. These are way more expensive online. Um, and it will just like play and display your pictures. And she loves pictures, but I know she doesn't like to put them on her walls very often because they do tend to outdate. Um, so I thought this would be a great gift for her and I'm planning on preloading it with some of our family pictures, pictures of Gracie and um, just things that I know that she loves. So there's a good chunk of her birthday present for fairly inexpensive. <clears throat> so it was a fairly successful day of finding inexpensive things for our family. So I'm excited about that. And Cord came along, which is always interesting for him to see me like in my element. <laughs> but yeah. Um, been a good day so far. I know that we are going to build our Ikea little storage shelf thing uh, today that I picked up two weeks ago when I was in uh, Denver. So I'll probably vlog a little bit of that because that's always an interesting show when you're putting stuff together from Ikea. I really do love Ikea stuff though. You know, um, when I lived in my apartment before Corey and I got married when we were engaged, I my whole bedroom was Ikea made and it is held up amazing. Grace uses like 90% of that furniture and it's been great for us. So I don't know. I also was thinking about making a video about Gracie's like sleeping and like room organization because a lot of people I know have been like posting about having trouble getting their children to sleep and we've just I mean I know that Gracie is a very good sleeper so we're very lucky but we have gone through some serious rough patches and I do believe that the way that we have our room set up and like the scheduling and stuff that we use has really really helped her. Um, so maybe I'll make a video about that. So let me know down below if that's something that you'd be interested in. But for now, I will see you when we are putting our Kia stuff together. Okay, we're starting the Ikea building furniture. <laughs> and we are building, hold on, show them a picture. We're building this 
and we had already the reason why we're building this is because when we bought our nightstands we didn't read instructions or ask questions and then we also bought these little drawer inserts which were really cute and we were going to use them for our nightstands but now they don't actually fit so we had them well then i went back to denver and was going to return them and forgot them so instead i spent more money and i bought the shelving unit that they go into and so two of the holes will be filled with the drawers and then two of the holes will have um, like a little baskets in it and I'm going to use them for toy storage either upstairs or downstairs I haven't decided whatever looks best so we are going to build that